This is Marley. Marley is a three-year-old girl who was diagnosed with Angelman syndrome at the age of one. This is her journey. Marley Bashard is the daughter of parents Jessica Casarini, age 22, and Dallas Bashard, age 23. Marley is about just over a year. Um, we, she, her doctor actually diagnosed her with hypermobility. And then um, we figured something else was wrong. So they did some blood work and there was a deletion in her 15th chromosome. So they said to us, it's either Angelman syndrome or Prater Willie. And then um, we did it in, like extra blood work. And then it came back that she had Angelman syndrome. We went to further our knowledge on the angels by speaking with Marley's neurologist, Dr. Gangham. If I could summarize Marley's case, I had, I had the opportunity to meet with her um, early in February of 2016. Uh, she came to attention because she started having seizures at that time and was brought into the emergency room. I think by that time her parents had already recently been given a diagnosis of uh, Angelman syndrome and were just learning about the condition. Um, and after she started developing seizures is when I came on board to try and help out. The symptoms of Angelman syndrome include severe developmental delay, they often have seizures, they often have very um, characteristic physical features, um, speech impairment and also some movement disorders which we call as ataxia. Um, a lot of these patients do have also refractory epilepsy which means it's very difficult to treat with medication. I remember when they, they told me that she has Angelman and that she'll be having these and I was like okay I know I'm gonna I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be that dad. I'm going to be awesome at this. I'm going to, we're going to do this together, Jess. We got this. Um, when she had her first seizure, I definitely wasn't ready. And it really scared me. It really scared me because it's just tough, especially Marley was one and a half, tiny thing. And she was in a full out seizure and her eyes were rolled in the back of her head and her lips were blue and her whole body was shaking. And it's just, a horrific thing to see and watch. Like it should, especially someone that young, and they can't control it, right? And they're so innocent, right? It's just, it's, it's, it's sad. And it's definitely uh, tough. To further Marley's speech and physical development, she is currently enrolled in speech therapy and swimming lessons. But John McGinley is a great center, especially for Marley, because it's uh, given her physiotherapy, uh, speech therapy. Um, She'll be starting preschool there. Preschool there soon. Um, she belongs there. She belongs there, you know. The teachers uh, know how to you work, know, with work with Marley, okay. take care of her, and uh, know everything that she, uh, she needs to do to expand and reach her milestones. There is no cure for Angelman syndrome, but with the help of communication and physical therapy, along with medications, the symptoms of AS can be better controlled. She has a very happy personality. A lot of children with Angelman's are very happy. Uh, they are always laughing and smiling, um, and she's very excitable. She does have the delays in development in the speech impediment, along with the ataxia, which is the abnormal movement, which I had described earlier. Jessica and Dallas started a GoFundMe page for Marley called Hashtag Marley Smiles. In 21 months, they surpassed their goal of raising $10,000. This helped the family attend the Angelman Syndrome Conference in Edmonton the summer of 2016. Well, with that funding, it helped us be able to pay for those special kinds of foods and get our special equipment. And Oh. special activities. There are 281 families in Canada who have joined a Facebook group to give each other personal advice on Angelman syndrome. Because I've learned so much about different like different things about Marley that I wouldn't have known how much things they have in common. Um, it's a really good helpful site. Roughly 1 in 15 to 20,000 children are affected by AS. With no cure, these key treatments allow children like Marley to hopefully meet their milestones in the future. A prediction about Marley and how she would be in the future, it's really hard to say. A lot of it has to do with her developmental delay and cognitive impairment. Really what we hope for is that these children will grow up to have, be able to complete their activities of daily living independently. Will my child be able to get a job? Will my child be able to use a bus? Count money and basic things like that, toileting, bathing, feeding, 
it's really hard to say and we have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis in terms of um, what sort of improvements. So the next few years, because she's only three now, the next few years will be really critical in seeing how her development plays out. Although this rare disorder can seem frightening, we hope to try and change the future for these angels. Like I wasn't really scared. I was I was just getting prepared because I think at that at that time, like I was already prepared to be a father, and I was already already had that that strength, the courage, and I was ready to take on all the challenges as a father already. So this was just kind of another challenge to me, and I and I was ready for it, and I was uh, yeah, I was prepared. And she is the love of my life. Like my daughter's is uh, she's my little princess, and you know like whatever ch challenges or f struggles she goes through, and what we have to go through with her. Um, you know, we'll definitely do anything and everything and we'll always we'll still love her. Yeah. There's a reason why we got someone special like Marley. Yeah. And we can handle it. Yep. God gives us what we can handle. For further research to continue to be done to find a cure, families just like Jessica and Dallas will need people to give many more donations.